everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. Hope you're doing well, feeling good, and ready to find out what is good for you. Um, we're using, uh, since it's Halloween, Stranger Things. Uh, I did not ever get the Hocus Pocus one. I will soon for the discontinue it, but it's a cartoon one. I was kind of hoping they'd come out with like a movie version. But let's see. These are oracle cards, by the way. Let's see what your energy is. Caterpillar. You're looking for new opportunities. Could be networking. Could be dating. Could be trying to find a friend. Empty well. Time to replenish. Yeah, something you're lacking. If you're single, you're tired of being alone. If you don't have friends, you're tired of like just being with your kids. You want adult time. Or if you're not making enough money, you're looking for a better job. A tidy house. Clarity and organization. Getting that, getting your ducks in a row. I need a new life. Where am I going? That's the energy is for you right now. I need a new life. This, what If it's not like a whole new life here, this could be um, wanting a change in all aspects. Change in partners, change in career, change in how you parent, change in your friends. Or you have a friend group. You have the career. Maybe you want babies. Um, maybe you have career and friends, but you don't have a lover. Or... Uh, you have a lover but no friends. Like there's something missing in your life that you're wanting to fulfill. Bottom of the deck. Spirit of the river. Movement towards adventure. A lot of bored energy. Stuck in the med mundane. Feeling stuck. Lost compass. You lost your way. You lost yourself for a minute. And you're like, wait. This is not what I want. I need to change it. Good vibes. So it's always good to think like you're an 18 year old and you just graduated high school and everything's open to you. You can do anything that you should always be that 18 year old kid on the inside when you're looking for change. Dream big. Reach for the stars. These cards stick. So I just want to make sure they're shuffled good. All right, for the collective, what do we need to talk about? Oh, hello, too many. Loosen up these cards a bit. I haven't used them in a while. These ones have Roman numerals, and I'm dyslexic. I hate Roman numerals. <laughs> and I don't um, always know what they mean. They change the words, so I focus on my own abilities and the pictures for this deck. But five of spokes. Taking that leap of faith to me. I'm going for it. Even if it's crazy. But ten also talks about completion. Ending a cycle. Three of scoops. Getting out of a third party situation. Not wanting to share not wanting to be an option or just be another number. For most of you, this is um, branching out on your own, getting out away from somebody who cheated or put you in a third party or um, you're, you're going towards somebody with a stronger bond. Queen of Strands in Reverse. experience is like queen of wands upright is like being dominant crushing it you could be making moves in in secret or you're just feeling lack because i think some of you got cheated on or um somebody could have got the job over you there's a um, discontent boredom or um rejection knocked you on your butt or is knocking you on your butt way. We have six of scoops and ace of scoops. There was an exchange. Maybe somebody made you an, a new offer or flirted with you, showed interest. 
or just got your attention and it made you realize you want to go in a new direction that something is boring or not for you so what is this exchange that either happened or will we have the magician something you manifested like Pandora's box I'm getting Knight of Dice leader of the pack energy um, but this is like protecting what you love protecting who you love but also having an army behind you having support Somebody defended you and made you feel like you were a special pot of gold, um, that you were a treasure. You wanted to feel special either by uh, your employee, like, or employee, employer, throw a chakra, employer, um, getting a lot of downloads I'm sorry so this could be like wanting to get the eye of your boss maybe you gave them information put you on the radar you could have gotten like a job promotion or you could be getting that or you could be could have been in something solid um, met somebody through a friend or just saw something that you wanted to do whether it be love or career turned your cheek made you feel like um, you were bored or being stuck or um, not fulfilling your potential wherever you were in the past. Um, you could be leaving things behind, but this is like an offer of join us, you'll be supported. Um, this is an equal give and take. You work for me, I work for you, and we make a lot of money together. You could be getting propositioned here. Or getting that offer that you want from a job or a love partner. Five of scoops. Ooh, queen of scoops. Okay, to me, this is lack, not having enough. Maybe you don't have enough finances to do something you want. But queen of scoops to me is like very grounded very stable so i think you're coming out of lack or you're about to get some help here knight of spokes is like i think you're standing up to a bully or whoever put you in this third party situation it's like you're jumping over this person over the competition that left you in lack you're taking your power back something that you've been wishing for a uh, treasure of a person or a treasure of a job is coming in for you you're going to be offered a new start or you're going to put yourself out there and offer your heart you're going to be finding your soul tribe it took me a minute to get i don't really relate to this deck well even though i love this show that's why i don't use it much ace of strands yeah, it's like you're getting a sign, but you're missing it. Why are you missing it? The moon. This is something you manifested over the moon. You didn't see or... If you didn't manifest it, I feel like spirits are manifesting it for you. Why? Why is this in reverse? You don't see it coming. Something hasn't ended. You're going to feel a spark, but you have to get out. You have to complete something first. And I think that's what you're doing now with this new moon energy. Anything else for the collective? Ooh. Yeah, you're going in a new direction. You're jumping over any adversity. Bottom of the deck, high priestess. Trusting that third eye. Trusting your spiritual gifts. But it's going to be hard. So this isn't going to be easy, um, and it hasn't been easy for you to get to this position, but there is something that needs to end here. A 
And for now, I think you're just keeping your energy to yourself and trying to come up with a plan. But you do, I think you do have something in mind. But again, you're keeping it to yourself. Overall, trust your instincts and, and make the calls that are calling to you and trust that and nobody else. And don't miss signs. <laughs> Be leery and open and available for spirit. Um, because they're going to really guide you through this. But I think you're very tapped in. And just keep doing what you're doing and stay positive And keep your um, inner dialogue positive so you manifest. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo, boo-boos, boy.